Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, this is not so much a, a test of your eyesight, but more an example as to how deep the brainwashing goes. But first we'll have a wee bit of orientation. Uh, if you imagine the moon as a clock face, I'll try and explain how it moves. There are three reference points I use. This is the Sea of Chrysess, this is Tycho, and this is Copernicus. They make up a kind of triangle. Now, the moon does not burrow round like a ball, because we would then see these craters move in that direction. But, you can observe this with the naked eye. The Sea of Chrysess now, this is how we see the moon from the equator to the North Pole. And this crater can be seen anywhere between 12 and down as far as 5. And that is how it moves. Sometimes slowly, sometimes faster. Now, the other side of the equator, they see it like this. So they would have it move from 6 up to near 11, if it were a clock face. So what I'm saying is, if there were any proof that it, it spun on its axis, we would see some proof, and yet, I've yet to see any. Now, I debunked that idea last year, with the help of collaborators from all across the plain, and we watched the moon for entire weekend. I'll put a link in the description. So, this is how we see it in the inner part of the equator, and this is how it is seen in the other side of the equator. But, I'm going to concentrate on the Sea of Chrysess, because for size, we are told is 300 miles across. Now, that just so happens to be the same size as Ireland, just off the coast of mainland Britain. So, let's have a look. Here we have the Sea of Chrysess and Ireland, the same size. So, let's try some. Let's go as far away as we can from Ireland and see if we can still see it. Well, this is as far as it can take you, and this is somewhere in the region of 63,000 kilometres. Now, I'm old school, so I have to convert that, which makes it somewhere in the region of 40,000 miles. Now, I can only see Ireland as a tiny dot. And to make up a quarter of a million miles, this would have to be four times again farther away. So, how good is your eyesight? Remember, I mentioned the triangle.
Watch this. This is how we would see it in the inner part from the equator to the North Pole. And this is how you would see it from like New Zealand or Australia. Now, what do you think would happen if I put that triangle on top of that triangle? Let me help you. You get this. Well, thanks for watching. Please comment.